Welcome back to episode 3 of Nostalgia Toys, where we talk about Lady Lovely Locks. I believe she came out in about 84, 85, maybe even 86, but just as popular as Gem was, I think Lady Lovely Locks was pretty, pretty popular. People still talk about her. Now, she was made by Mattel, and people probably remember her the most for the pixie tails, the little clips in her hair with the hair extensions, which I remember the most when I was little. If you've already watched my cupcake doll video and my sky dancer video, I used to find the pixie tails with cupcake dolls. I don't know why. I, I guess even though it was an 80s and a 90s toy, people were, you know, enamored with the idea of fantasy toys. So, the first one I ever got, you've probably seen, if you haven't, go check it out, my toy review on Good Boy Toys. She sold me Maiden Fairhair, who I thought was Lady Lovely Locks, but that was a couple months ago. I didn't really know much about it. Now, she did not come with Pixie Tails. I bought those from Catastrophe Toys, I believe. And she was wearing just a basic, like, pink Barbie outfit. She was not wearing these, these clothes. These are, um... Um, what is her name? The villain. Raven Waves. Duchess Raven Waves uh, dress. And these are also Stacy shoes, but they kind of have Stacy bodies. If you know Barbie's sister Stacy, they have Stacy bodies so they can fit Stacy shoes. So they look like they match, which is good. The Lady Lovely Locks doll I purchased came with this dress, and then I also bought this ribbon with the star from Catastrophe Toys. Also, Catastrophe Toys, are she's only selling the Pixie Tails for like $3 a piece on her eBay, so it's pretty affordable, but uh, Maiden Fair Hair here is gorgeous. She's got purple eyes and blue eyeshadow and pink lipstick, and she still even has blush, if you can see that. It's really pretty. Her hair is like a beautiful like light brown or dark blonde. It's very pretty. And she was the first one I got, and she was only $2. Or no, she was a dollar, sorry. There was one I got for $2. This one was a little bit more because he was on the card. He had three pixie tails. He had a blue, a purple, and, or a blue, a green, and a yellow pixie tail. And I only let him have one because I let some of the girls wear them because he's not going to really need them. But this is Prince, I forgot what his name is. I have a book over here. Lady Lovely Locks book, and I always forget what his name is, Prince Strongheart, or Prince something. But she just calls him Prince, because I don't have any of the pets or him as, as the dog. I want Silky Pup, but I can't seem to find it, but he was still on the card. He was missing his comb, and these are not his shoes. The seller said he was still, like, had his original shoes and his stuff. He did not have his comb, and these are not his shoes. These are Barbie's, like, hiking boots. But his outfit's really cute, and he has brown eyes, pink lips, I don't think he has any blush, but he's got like this, again, like, close to her hair, but a little darker, so I would say this is like a light brown. He's really cute. He was like, gasped, like $17, but it was worth it because he was still on the card, so he was in really good shape. Now, this is the one that I bought that was wearing the Duchess Raven Waves dress, this one right here. And again, these clips came for, from Catastrophe Toys. I also got this swimsuit from her, and I believe this pixie tail. I already had the Mermaid Lady, uh, Lady Lovely Locks um, mermaid tail. I didn't realize that that's what it was at the time. For the longest time, I had the tail on Maiden, no, Maiden Fair Hair, yeah. But this is the first one I got, and you can see that she slightly has the yellow, the yellow streak definitely shows up a lot more on camera, uh, pink and purple, and then her bangs over here have the same thing going on, so pretty. Her eyes, of course, are blue with blue makeup, pink lips, and blush. Her blush is still also on there. These are got to be the most beautiful fantasy toys ever, and then I'm just... This is what my mom surprised me with for my birthday. Like, 
um, before I even show those two, like you can, you can see these two were for my mom for my birthday. She got them in a hoarder's house, I believe. I'm totally cool with that. But these also came from Catastrophe Toys because I really needed some combs. I needed the swimsuit, the ribbon. Uh, I believe I got four of the pixie tails from her and these two combs. She gave me one for free, I believe. But before I show you that, I have this book that I bought for like $2 from the same person I bought this Lady Lovely Locks doll. By the way, I paid $2 for her because her neck was broken. Fixed it because it's not that hard to fix their necks because they, again, they have Stacy bodies. So you can just give them one of those neck things. And this book is super pretty. And it's, yeah, it's got some, some damage and some writing and I haven't stored it properly. I've only just had it for like a month and a half and I've been busy. But the artwork in this is gorgeous. And apparently her hair was turning blue. I don't understand why that's a problem. Me, I love colored hair. It's probably why I love fantasy stuff so much. I'm probably not gonna be able to... I'm gonna try to show you all the pages though because this is just too cute. But if I'm making you sick from flipping the pages, I'm sorry. Their hair apparently also got turned blue, which I thought that was cute. And then Silky Puff is pink. And then these old guys, even though these are bad guys, I think they're cute. I actually bought this for in the future when we start having kids and stuff. You know, I want my kids to have nostalgic toys. And there is the beautiful Duchess Raven Waves. I think she's pretty. I don't understand why, you know, why she was jealous of Lady Lovely Locks. Like, yes, Lady Lovely Locks is beautiful. And for the longest time, I was calling Lady Lovely Locks Lovely Lady, like, Lovely Lady Locks, Lady, wait, Lady Lovely Locks, Love, I don't know, it sounded like Lady Marmalade for the longest time, like, like, Love, I don't remember what it, how I pronounced it, but it, I'm sure we've all pronounced it at least that, that at least once. Oh yeah, I called it Lady uh, Lovely Lady Locks instead of Lady Lovely Locks. That's why I get confused. Okay, so this is my most excited one that I like the the most exciting one I got, even though she's not in her original clothes. The clothes look pretty pretty dang close. This is Maiden or or that Maiden Curly Crown or I know she's called Curly Crown but I restore the curls I just finger curled it I you know washed her hair with sh uh, soap like shampoo and conditioner brushed it out because they smelled like like mold and they definitely do not smell like mold anymore and I finger rolled her hair let her air dry and then I stuck the little pixie tail in her hair she's got these beautiful green eyes green shadow pale orangish pink lips and blush and even though this dress does not like go with her this isn't the proper dress it looks like it does and I don't care like the dresses that are on eBay are like 10 bucks and I didn't have to pay a thing for her so I love her this is another Lady Lovely Locks doll I have I want to say this is from a different series because she's a little more peachy in color of her face than that one but she also has you know like the blue shadow blue lips pale pink lips blush. She's got much more yellow in her hair in like in that streak and then orange and purple in her hair. Same thing for the bangs even though they're a little more rolled up. She's got her original dress which is in a little little rough shape on the clip flower thingies for the pixie tails that go on her dress but the bodice part is good. The iridescent is good. She does not have shoes. Does not matter to me. But this is my Lady Lady Lovely Locks collection. And I will zoom in one more time so you can see all the dolls. I hope you guys enjoyed that. And if you really enjoy Nostalgia Toys videos, please uh, like and subscribe 
and I will be putting much more videos out. Next video I think I'll be putting out is Rainbow Bright. Just waiting for one more item like I said in the previous video. And I will be doing Strawberry Shortcake soon. I'm also going to be doing Polly Pocket review or Polly Pocket collection video. I believe I'm going to do a Moon Dreamers video even though I don't have that many Moon Dreamers items. I have also items from the movie Anastasia. Thumbelina. I have some toys like Mimi and the Goo Goos and some other like Crystal Princess toys, some random like vintage toys that you probably never heard of. But I am looking forward to doing more of these videos for you guys and it's something that I really have a passion for so I hope you're enjoying them. And until next time guys, I'm Kristen and goodbye from Nostalgia Toys.